Hello, Kevin Inkster here. Um, I want to show you how to sharpen a Pro 4 woodcarver blade, that's the pressed steel type blade. Um, the teeth profile is very similar to a chainsaw and you sharpen it just like a chainsaw with a 6mm chainsaw file. I put a handle on this one to make it easier to hold. You simply place the, the file into the gullet of the tooth and you follow the profile of the tooth. You can see the angle there and I simply just follow that angle and run it along the inside. Very, very easy to do. Now, you may want to put it into a vise or something to hold it steady. You can do this on the angle grinder uh, while it's mounted on the angle grinder. However, if you do that, be sure to unplug the angle grinder before you do anything like this. I prefer to take the blade off and uh, I like to just put it against something like uh, this bench here just to hold it steady and then I can just push the file in and get a nice bite as I do it. Now, a lot of people uh, like to put it into a vise. If you do that, be very careful not to crush this profile. So you may want to use a spacer or something so that you don't crush it. But uh, I find that it's simple, a simple matter to just place it against the wood like that and put it in there and grind. Now, when you're filing it, when you do it for the first time, you might find that the profile in there doesn't perfectly match the file. So if you, I don't know whether you can see that it's grinding just short of the, of the tip. You have to keep grinding until you get the edge meeting the top and a nice sharp edge on the top. So quite simple to do. Now, with the Pro 4 woodcarver blade, the more you keep it sharp, the less sharpening you have to do. What I mean by that is, this one's nice and sharp. If this was blunt, you'd probably see a black or a shining line along the front there, and that's where the tooth has become negative from being used blunt. And what you have to do is uh, to resharpen it, if you've got that negative section at the front of the tooth, you have to then grind it all the way down until you've got a nice sharp edge and you've, wind, you, you've ground off all of the shiny section that's been um, uh, uh, abraded. Uh, the, the negative surface that you get there goes very shiny and you just file it until you remove all of that. And if you do that on each teeth, tooth, you'll find that it's perfectly uh, um, symmetrical. So that's it, that's a very, very simple matter. Simply hold the tooth, the blade like so, find your angle, put the file in, and away you go.